This is day six, week four of uh, intermittent fasting. Uh, just try to start the ketone diet thing this week. So I've been having like um, scrambled egg and bacon and stuff like that to start off with. Um, the intermittent fasting time, I've had probably twice this week, because on day six now of week four, um, where the timers have been out by maybe an hour, an hour and a half, something like that. Just because of various different reasons for work and going to the gym and things throughout the week. Um, so yeah, so the timers have been a, a bit off on a couple of days. The keto diet, diet thing is just the very early stages of trying to get my head around that and having the right food in and all that sort of thing. That's quite a difficult one to do because it's mainly protein and uh, it's a lot of fats and stuff like that and no carbs really so you don't uh, I mean I could I'm doing like making an omelette or whatever I made and um, it doesn't fill you up to be fair you eat that and you still feel still feel hungry after that so I've been I was chucking in a bit of fruit here and there like oranges apples stuff like that not loads, just a bit. Um, but yeah, it's been a few times this week where it's sort of gone a bit sideways with eating the wrong foods and stuff like that. But not massively. Training suffered this week though, because I've pulled my neck. So I've just come back in today to try and do some proper training. And I'm struggling with that a bit because I've fucking slept funny and my neck's just shagged up now. I've had it before. Um, and uh, yeah, so hopefully that'll go back to normal and I'll be back back to training again. Trying to up the calories that I burn off every day. I'm on 1500 at the moment that I burn off is my target, which is quite a lot. Which is you're looking at at least probably a minimum of two hours training uh, a day to do that. Mix you know, you combination of cardio stuff with. Um, weights and whatever but um, my main goal is to get to about 2,000 calories a day that I'm burning off now I reckon that's a good three hours of training every single day which is quite a lot now I think it might be okay so we'll have to chuck in a few rest days in the week I don't normally have any rest days I normally train every single day unless I'm not very well or something happens to me or I can't for whatever reason, I normally train every day. So the training side is there, but the diet side is, is difficult. You know, it is a difficult thing to try and organize and stick to and also get the timings right and all that kind of thing. So I'm gonna make a concerted effort next week um, to, um, try and give up sugar altogether so I won't probably won't be drinking any tea because tea just isn't the same to me when it hasn't got sugar in it I think that's my Achilles heel at the moment to try and stick to as much protein as I possibly can and things like that cut back on the carbs try and get this ketone diet thing figured out and get a menu put together for that uh, I'll probably organise that tomorrow. I'm going to weigh in myself tomorrow. I reckon I probably haven't lost any weight, probably stayed the same. Don't think much has changed. Like I said, I haven't been able to train properly this week because my neck's absolutely fucked. Like, I'm boxing now and it is, it's fucking killing me. Like normally, when you're doing any, anything like boxing, um, you don't feel nothing. Like I've taken skin off my knuckles before now and you, you feel it afterwards because of the adrenaline and, and what you're doing. So, but I, I am I am feeling this. This is like a fucking pinched nerve or some shit. I don't know, it's irritating. But yeah, um, so we'll see what the weigh-in's like um, tomorrow. I'll probably do a big session tomorrow if I can manage it. Do a weigh-in at the end. Um, and yeah, just see. But yeah, a couple of times this week, timing hasn't been right. Probably off by an hour and a half eating later past the eight hour window. So like maybe eating at half past nine at night um, instead of eight, 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 eating by eight o'clock. 
I think that might have happened once or twice. Uh, today, I started eating at about 10 o'clock in the morning instead of midday. So really my cutoff point should have been sort of six o'clock at night. I think I, I actually ate at about seven. So it's, a, it's, it's an hour off here and there. And then training, yeah, again, not trained as much as I would normally do because of, I've been in quite a bit of pain with movement and everything like that. So, so yeah, it's been an up and down week. Been a bit of an emotional week, but uh, you know, a lot of stuff going on. But um, just gonna have to get back on the horse next week. Plan it out a lot better. Um, try and increase the training and also um, improve the diet. Um, I don't think the ketone diet is that bad, but I do think that I do think it's quite a difficult thing to then you've got to try and think of what to cook and what you've got in that's going to fit the bill. And when you cut carbs out altogether, so you've got no bread, no rice, no pasta, no potatoes, uh, you're starting to go, well, um, what am I having with this meal? And then even if you're eating fruits, you're thinking to yourself, well, there's fructose in that, uh, it's technically like carbohydrate in it. Uh, when you're having vegetables and stuff like that. I mean, like I've had a few days where I've had a uh, salad and or I've had chicken and just veg and stuff like that and that that wasn't too bad actually that day I, I actually made a chicken breast spinach and mixed vegetables like carrots and broccoli and things like that and what I did is I ended up turning it into like a bit of a stew um, uh, and I ate that all together and I had about two or three bowls of that. So it was mainly water and vegetables and a bit of chicken, basically. And um, that filled me up pretty well, you know, considering there wasn't anything that heavy in it, but it was the, the volume of the liquid that filled me up. So the water, like having three bowls of soup, heavy, heavy soup. Um, so that worked quite well. Uh, salad wise, yeah, I mean, again, this is difficult because if you're having a salad um, and you're not having any dressing on it at all, it's going to taste like shit. That's, that's to be fair. So that's quite a tough one. Um, so, yeah, it's just little little changes and, and organisation and training and all sorts of different things like that. It's going to make the difference, I think. But, yeah, I'd be very surprised if I've lost any weight. Um, because like I say, the last couple of days has sort of gone a bit awry. Um, things haven't gone according to plan. And I pulled my neck, which is a fucking massive pain in the balls and the neck. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I'll do another one on Sunday. All right, cheers, bye.